Okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna try and keep this, like, five minutes or less, because I just tried to do this, and it did not want to work. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before we start, I know I didn't post yesterday, I just needed, a, like, a day just of no uploading. I, I think I had uploaded, like, 15 times in, like, two weeks, so I did not need a break, um, but... Nevertheless, we're back. Okay, so I am going to be able to post a lot more basketball content on here in the future, but let's get to the point of the video. So, 2K21 just got ported to mobile a few days ago. Uh, and right now, it's probably the best 2K mobile version ever. Um, it has console graphics. It has... The console upgrade system, it has freaking console blacktop, it has everything. Console jump shots, console everything. But the problem that I have, there's a lot of problems with it. If you can see right here, yes, uh, that, that's real. The jerseys are really messed up. They put a lot of time into the model of the characters and to actually how the game plays, but didn't put that much effort into the jerseys. Uh, and also another big problem is that it don't have the association, the league, uh, my league, uh, or my GM. Uh, so that automatically brings it a little bit down for me because I love the association. I love being able to create scenarios. Uh, but... Uh, one, I do know they are going to add the association sometime uh, within the next few updates because you are able to edit the rosters. You can't do anything with the rosters, but you are able to edit them. Um, to me, this feels like 2K20 on console. The graphics look just like it, the jump shots, the way it plays, everything. It plays more like 2K20 on console than 2K21 on mobile. Uh, and if you actually don't know what I'm talking about, 2K20 graphics were more of like 2K13. 2K21 graphics are more of 2K20. Uh, but yeah, I just feel like, yeah, it's definitely a really great game. It's, it's one of the best 2K mobile ports we've had. But... There's a lot of other stuff wrong with it. Uh, I know it just came out. They have to update it and all that. But um, if they can add the association, I don't care about any of the other problems. Uh, I just feel like it's a really good game. Uh, it's actually way cheaper than a lot of the other ones that uh, have come out. Now, okay. For... For my career, I definitely want to choose 2K20. Hear me out. The graphics are a lot better on 2K21, but on 2K20, you actually get drafted. And there's actual commentary over the videos, uh, post-game uh, post interviews and all that. 2K21, don't have any of that. You pick what team you want to play for, you play a couple preseason games, and then you start. There's no, there's not even any commentary in the game. Like, it's just basketball. No announcers, no anything. So you play the game, nothing else happens. You can't make connections with players, you don't have off days. Uh, you just keep playing to upgrade your character. Uh, and all that. Hopefully they do add something to my career. Um... But the my career in 2K21 is just really bare bones. So I definitely want to choose 2K20 for the my career story. But for graphics, 2K21. Uh, Blacktop, 2K21, definitely. The graphics, the uh, core, uh, the way the CPU plays is a lot better in 2K21. A uh, lot more realistic. Uh, like I said... 2K21 don't have the association yet, so I do gotta give a point to 2K20 for that. Um, 
but online mode definitely 2k21 because uh 2k21 since it's newer a lot more people are going to be playing it uh unlike 2k20 and also like i said the gameplay the graphics the animations were just a lot more smoother in 2k21 uh so that's why I think it's a lot better than 2K20. You can also have your opinion, but also you can... It don't tell you what build you create, but you can create a lot more different diversity in builds than 2K20, so... Uh, before we run into any more technical errors, I do want to end this video. Uh, well, I just wanted to say peace, and I'll see you guys later.